A lot of Photoshop and digital art tutorials will tell you to remove part of an image using a layer mask or to simply use the eraser instead. The eraser may be your go-to, but does familiar mean better? And what is a layer mask anyway? Let's break it down. I'm back today to help Photoshop beginners learn about layer masks. Though this isn't a feature exclusive to Photoshop, so if you use another design or editing software, this can still be great info to have. So how and why would you use a layer mask? What makes them different from the eraser tool? If you learned something, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. The eraser tool is simple to explain, as it's a substitute for a traditional tool we're all familiar with. It can be set to any brush shape or size, use it, and the pixels on your layer are gone. This, however, is destructive to your image, just like on a regular canvas. If you remove part of the image and don't paint it back before moving on, it may be difficult to get back the pixels you deleted earlier. Of course, one of the benefits of technology is being able to hit that undo button, but you'll have to redo any work that was done after the history point where the adjustment was made. There are also limitations to how much of your history is stored. These can be custom set, but the standard length of history you can undo back to isn't very high. So if you're 150 steps past the bad erase job, you might not even be able to get close to it. That means extra work to create the pixels where they were earlier destroyed, and sometimes means re-embedding an image and starting over the edit entirely. Another downside to the eraser is that it only functions on one layer at a time, which can potentially lead to very long cleanup sessions around edges as you go over the same spot on every layer, or lose your layers entirely from flattening your canvas in part or whole to make erasing more efficient which is also a good reason why you should always make copies of layers before doing anything destructive. Layer masks solve all these issues. They're essentially eraser canvases with unlimited edits that cover the layer or group they're attached to, like a mask covers your face. They're totally non-destructive. Under the mask, the layer remains untouched. The ability to attach them to groups of layers adds a lot of versatility to the feature by making it easy to mask complex elements of your canvas. Until the mask is rasterized and flattened to the layer or group, you can go back and change it as many times as you need. The easiest way to create and use a layer mask is to click the mask icon in the bottom right corner of the layer tab while the intended layer or group is selected. Now, with the brush tool set any way you like, draw in black over the area you want covered. To erase part of the mask, use white paint, and grays will create varying degrees of opacity to the mask. Another way to mask your image is to use a marquee or selection tool to select the area you still want visible once the mask is created. Then, up on the top bar, click Select and Mask to open up new sidebar options. Here, you have a selector, lasso, and brush on the left to make changes to the selection, and a range of sliders and toggles on the right. Use the Transparency and View options to change the way the edge of the selection looks, and how much of the selected area is visible compared to the rest of the canvas. Choose between Object-Aware or Color-Aware AI, Feather to soften edges of the selection, Change the edge position inward or outward, Smooth wiggles and harsh corners of the edges, and more. Once everything looks good, choose your output mode, usually either new layer with a mask or just layer mask. If your mask isn't perfect, don't stress. You can always go back to adjust the mask by selecting it and using the brush tool. Hopefully you understand a little better what masks are and how to use them. If you did learn something, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like it. What other Photoshop features do you want cleared up in future content? Go to the comments and tell me what you want to hear. And of course, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.